Hello guys, welcome. This is a new day. So remember at uh, 10 o'clock I have to meet Lucia over here. Uh, you know, I went ahead and watered my plants. One of my furnaces were finished. And right now I'm currently building a new furnace, which I think is done. It is done. Good. Thank you. Uh, what else can I build? Oh, I can build another one. I might as well build one more. It's always good to have another furnace. Oh, I don't have enough uh, copper. That's fine. It's always good to build at least, you know, three or four furnaces. So that way you can have different ores smelting at the same time. What is this? Oh, it's a random mushroom. Okay. I'm going to go and get some wood. Yeah, guys, I'm excited to see what this dragon's like. And I'm also glad this farming game is a lot more fast paced than uh, the other ones I've been playing. Look at that, all that quality of life. Just clear out all this grass. I'm about to level up again. Well, get my skill up. There we go. Farming level six. Let's see what we can unlock. Um, increased chance of crops staying watered overnight. Can I do that one? Oh no, why not? Maybe because I have to unlock more of these first ones and then I'll be able to unlock the second. So I'll do increase sell price of cooked items. Okay, yeah. So you have to put a couple skills in the first tier in order to get to the second tier. I got it. I mean, that makes sense. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put you in here to sell. Uh, put you in here to sell. I don't want to sell those. I have to keep all that. And I do have more seeds, so I might as well plant them. Might as well. Go ahead and clear out some more grass. I'm just waiting for it to be uh, close to 10 a.m. So I go ahead and head over to town. I like this double jump. Like, I really like this double jump. Oh, wait, what is this? You have a quest? Hey, can you help me make a necklace? A necklace? Mama likes she shells, so I want to make a necklace with she shells and fishing string. I already have the string. I found it in the garbage. I'm not allowed to go on the beach on my own. I just need seashells. Bring me five seashells. All right, I got you, bro. Five seashells. That's easy. But before I do that, I mean, you know, I got other stuff to do. Like go meet this girl at Town Hall so she can tell me about this dragon I got to talk to. Hello, won't you join me for a moment? I know you must be quite busy to know the town, but I want to show you Sunhaven's bulletin board. This board provides a way for our neighbors to help each other. There's a couple of postings. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, you know, bulletin board. If they need something, you build it for them. Good to go. He needs a fire crystal, which I don't know how to get yet. So I'm pretty sure it's in the quarry, but I have yet to find one. And she needs five apples. I got you. I can do five apples. There's trees everywhere. Oh, wait. Uh, I gotta meet. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it's 10 o'clock. I gotta meet her at Town Hall. Are you ready to go? Let's go. This is Ilios just ahead. I'm afraid I can't go with you. It is entirely your own choice. All right. Let's go. Whoa. It's a giant ass dragon. <laughs> It really is a giant dragon. I've been waiting for you. It is fortunate that Lucia brought you to me unharmed. I am Elios, the sun dragon. Sunhaven and his enduring community with beautiful future. I carry the responsibility of preserving the commonwealth here. 
As a guardian, I prefer to see each new arrival myself. Clear your mind. Respond to the truth. For whom do you live your life? <laughs> my ancestors, my friends, my family, myself. I mean, would it be selfish to say myself? <laughs> um, let's say, uh, let's say my family. Your family, indeed. Where do you feel the strongest natural connection? Blazing fire, soaring cloud, flowing river, standing tree. So is this earth, wind, water, fire. Okay. So am I choosing my own element? Because I guess I'm going to choose water, flowing river. What sets your heart alight? Fulfilling a uh, living in the moment or fulfilling my destiny? Living in the moment. There's power within you. I cannot say what it means on your fate, but power will only grow. Mind your ways. Explore your connections with that magic. Your powers will undoubtedly have consequences on our world, though this responsibility falls only on you. Do not alternate yourself from your neighbors. I grant you my blessing. You now have access to the great power that resides within you, but you hone your skills before continuing on your journey. When the time is right, I will reach out to guide you. As you leave this place, you may enter your new life. All right, what you give me? Bonus mana, 10. 100 combat experience, and then I can choose if I want 40 exploration experience or 250 coins. I'm gonna choose the experience. Yeah, boy, open the bulletin board and accept two tasks, and I have more points. Exploration. I'll do increased damage done to trees, which opens up the second tier. And then for combat, ooh, I unlocked the fireball spell. Increase attack speed of swords and, and tools, okay. Increase damage of all attacks, and increase your armor. How about increase attack speed? <laughs> You're a mage. I thought I felt something magical energy within you. Ilios gave me my blessing when I was much younger, so it can be a lot to take in. I'm always around to talk if you're feeling unsure. For now, how about we head back? Yeah. Alright, so I'm a mage, and they want me to find... Well, they want me to accept two bulletins, but I don't even know where to start getting a fire crystal. But who is this? Catherine? Okay, dark skin waifu. <laughs> So good to meet you. I'm Catherine. I own the farming store here. I'm surprised like you can't tell, but I'm a witch. It wasn't hard to divine the name for a new farmer. Okay. So she owns the shop over there, but I kind of want to find this fire crystal. So I feel like I need to go back into the mine. Besides, I do want more ore as well, so why not? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. There's a lot of copper today. So I guess each um, floor is randomly generated, even if you've been to that floor before. The last time I walked into the mines, I didn't see all this copper. Oh, wait, mining level five. Mm. Game bonus gold each day. Yep, I'll take that any day. Wrong button. Uh, now I can use my copper pickaxe too. Which is way better. Oh, and much faster. Okay, that's amazing. But really, I'm looking for a copper ore, and then I'm also looking for that key. The key that's randomly under one of these rocks. Or it might be in a vase. Oh, and I just found it. Look at that. Axe and you shall receive. Alright, to floor two. Let me make sure there's no more copper here. I don't think so. I just wanted to hit that stone real quick. 
Oh, hold on. I have to... There we go. Use the key first. And now I can go to two. Alright. Second floor. Let's go. Obviously, I'm gonna need coal, I believe. There we go. Alright, base. 13. Can't walk across there. Rusty key under here. Nope. Another base. Got some quartz. Is there a rusty key under here? Nope. Uh, come on, Rusty Key, where you at? I want to go to floor three. I do know that. Oh, there we go, Rusty Key. Got it. I do know that uh, they said if I create a permanent key, I can unlock these floors permanently. So I need to figure out how to make a permanent key so I don't have to keep going, uh, starting from floor one all the way up. I see some copper here. Take that. Mining level six. All right, mining level six. Boom, 80 gold a day. And now I unlock rank two. Oh, increase speed of all tools. Okay, increase damage to rocks. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next. What is this? A water crystal? Okay, so I found a water crystal, but what I really need is a fire crystal. I guess those just randomly spawn too. Uh, I found a rusty key. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these copper ore and then I'm out of here. floor three making my way downtown walking fast <laughs> I'm joking guys uh, I, I didn't check this side there might be more copper this side I don't really want to miss any because I know I'm gonna need a lot even though I am glad that you're able to buy the upgrades but I guess you can also craft them so it just depends on what route you want to take or maybe people can gift them to you I don't know for helping out the blacksmith, he did give me an upgrade to my pickaxe. So it might be multiple ways you can uh, get stuff done in this game, which is pretty cool, actually. I think it's weird that I found out I'm a mage. Is it because I chose elf as my race? So I can just go around shooting monsters with fireballs. That sounds pretty cool. Level four. here more vases come on rusty key where are you at I always check the big rocks because it seems like they're mostly under the big rocks Money level seven you know you increase your skills super quick in this game because I have not been playing that long I 
Oh, oh see the rusty key. Look at that. Wait, I want to get that vase over there though. Oh, I missed one over there too. All right, one here. One there. There was something up here. Here we go, vase. Thank you. Let's see, more damage on the rocks. Yes. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and go to level five. It's still early in the day. Each day lasts for about 30 minutes, but you can change that. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, you can change that in the option. See, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Which I guess 20 minutes would be all right. I don't know. It, it just depends on how much you want to do during the day. Let's do 20 minutes. Let's see if that's better. Are you not going to unlock? There we go. Level five. All right, I'm back in lava. Check under big rocks. Oh wait, what was that down there? That's new. What is this? Oh no, that's not new, that's quartz. Okay. I got excited for a second. I need a fire crystal. Um, let's see. More ore. And go up here, check under these big rocks for the key. Found the key. Let's go ahead and get these vases and head out. Yeah, I think 20 minute days are way better than uh, 30 minute days. Definitely not 40 minute days. I mean, not unless you're just trying to, I don't know, prolong the game. If that makes sense. I guess if you, I mean, you could change it at any time, right? So I guess if you just feel like, hey, I want to fly all day. Are those monsters? I think they are. Like, oh, I want to mine all day or fish all day. You can change the days to like 40 minutes. Stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about rushing. They are monsters. What do I hit them with? My axe? Y'all don't want the smoke? Oh, I guess we're they're trapped because of this rock. Okay. Oh, you do hit me. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. What do I hit you with? My pickaxe? Oh, I don't think I can hit you with anything. I don't have a weapon. This is not good. I am definitely about to die. Oh, and they're everywhere. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. I need a sword before I can go deeper into the, the mines here. That is not good. Oh, this gives me 12 health. Thank you. Well, that sucks. Well, it doesn't really suck, but <laughs> yeah, see, try crafting some uh, copper armor. I thought I could attack him with my tools, but I guess not. That's not a thing.
Oh, whoops. I passed you. I don't think I met you yet. Oh, yeah, I did. Lynn. All right, let's get out of here. I do need more apples. Is this the way back to my farm? It is. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Um, what do I have? I might need that water crystal, so I really don't want to sell it. But I do want to make start making copper bars. I need more logs. can't chop down that tree mm. this tree is growing so I don't want to chop that down I can chop down this tree though there we go exploration seven chop down this tree then I'll be able to craft more copper bars and then we can see about uh, crafting some armor and stuff all right let's go ahead for bed oh wait well before that increase movement speed oh yeah always oh, gotta go fast And it's a new day. All right, guys. In the next part, we're going to go ahead and uh, complete these requests that we have. And then I think we're going to go back to the mine. But first, I'm going to check out how to build armor and weapons. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.